your boy Chris here, finally landed in Nice, barely. I mean, if I was seven, eight minutes later, I wouldn't have catched my flight. So I'm grateful to be here. The plan is very simple. It's gonna be a combo trip. We're gonna do Monaco, two days, Nice, one day, and one day in Cannes. So let's get it. So we're gonna go to Cannes now, stay the whole day here. And then tomorrow's gonna be Monaco and probably the next day. And lastly, we're gonna do it with Nice. So, sounds good? Let's skid out. Yeah, so trying to regroup. I'm in cans at the moment. I'm gonna try and grab a coffee, something to eat, and then move on to the touristy bits and to the beach. It's time to eat. <laughs> coffee time? Yes, please. Will we gamble at the casino? Nah. For now, it's to get at the top of the yeah, air where it says cans. <music> Nearly at the top, guys. Just have to go down this way, climb all the way to the top. Probably a little bit on the side, and then we are there. Here we are with the big clock and the lovely panoramic view. Oh. We have some lovely panoramic views of uh, Cannes and now we're going to go to like the last bit of uh, the, the arm, like on the marina bit and then we're going to go right into town, the old centre, just into like a Charlie Chaplin building and then we're going to finish up there and come back because I'm pooped. Yeah, so that's me talking shit. Suenshi! Sushi! <laughs> Little pit stop. Grab a coffee, I think third or fourth one. Right guys, so this is the pit stop, the final pit stop before heading back to Nice. Still in Cannes, lovely place. Weather is beautiful, 23, 24 degrees. Nice and sunny, nothing, nothing like England. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty tired, knackered. So I'm gonna call it a day and I'll leave you with the views and I'll see you tomorrow. On the way home to the hotel, I found this lovely bar. Le Crack. Do you like some? Is it on? It is. Morning mofos. Second day in Nice. I'm just gonna go to the train station now to Nice. Uh, I'm gonna spend the whole day there since the weather is kind of shit. And I'm gonna come back, hit the gym, go to a zoo, and that's pretty much it. I'll keep you posted anyway. Yeah, pretty much the whole beach looks exactly the same. It's, I mean, it's the weather, it's September, it's not a lot going on. So probably when we get to the old town, it's gonna get a little bit better and there's more stuff to see. But yeah, in the meanwhile, I think those are the stairs to the waterfall. Yeah. But so far I'm loving it. It's very nice. Nice. And this is just round the corner by the sign. This is absolutely mental. Look at that. Let me zoom in. Right, remember that waterfall at the beginning? We're gonna go there now. This way up. The weather is degrading minute by minute, but we're nearly there. Walking up now to that waterfall, I found in this river a dick carved in. <laughs> Mental shit. Halfway through, there's a nice little bench. Take five, watch the view. I just got to the top, and it seems that the waterfall is just beneath us over here.
So I've left the waterfall, came down into Old Town Nice, and now we're just gonna grab something to drink, something to eat because I'm hungry, and go back probably. So yeah, going through the Old Town and look at these maps. Yeah, so that's it. Now we are back and it's time to go to the zoo. Straight from the gecko, we got some lovely flamingos. Check these little fuckers out. They also got an insectarium inside the zoo, but I think these ones are the ones you want to see. They're interesting little fuckers. Boy, slow down. You're gonna injure yourself. Why are you so sleepy, G? There's actually one thing I've never ever seen at a zoo, and that is a crocodile. Till now. It's still raining, but it's beautiful. You can actually go through the botanical garden outside of the zoo. Look what we got here. We got some fucking yamuls. Some yamuls. And a wallaby. Standard. <laughs> Noisy little fuckers, aren't you? Sheltering from the bed. What's up, guy? <laughs> right, done a little bit of shopping. It's time to carb up, eat some stuff, and hit the gym. Happy Friday, mofos. It's time to go to Monaco. This is the third day. Let's get it. Monte Carlo Casino, a uh, lot of supercars, unique ones. One was one out of ten, one out of five. Just madness. And then Versace watches, jewelry, all sorts. So, yeah, it's gonna be a walk around more or less of the city. I don't think there's much to see, to be honest. I mean, so far I haven't seen anything spectacular. Everything is like in construction at the moment, or it looks like that. So we reached the end bit of Monte Carlo. There's, this is not, it's not such a big city, um, but everyone told me the same thing. Like, don't expect it to be huge. You can walk it literally within an hour. I'm gonna walk back, go to the city, and turn around the other side. You can also join a yoga class. It is windy. Thickens. We're gonna go at the top. I'm gonna climb over there. And I think we reached the viewpoint in Monte Carlo, seeing that there's so many people have gathered here. To be honest, it's kind of sweetened the spot for me a little bit. This view is actually lovely. Moving along, we got the Jardin Gardens, sort of like an exotic garden. That's a funny, weird statue. So I guess this is the last checkpoint. The reason why we came here, the reason why I brought you motherfuckers here to Monaco for this lovely view. Yeah, I'm happy actually in the end how it turned out. Right, this is the last bit I'm going to show you before I enter the casino and call it a day. And I'll leave you guys to it. I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, mofos. This is the last day. Tonight I'm flying back to England. But if you think about it realistically, I've done two countries. 
in two days, right? Because I was Thursday in Nice and then Friday I was in Monaco yesterday. So I was looking on the map and it seems that Italy is an hour away. I just got my welcome to Italy text across the border. I'm in Ventimiglia. I'm gonna spend my last day here. I've got six hours left. It's funny, isn't it? Three countries, three days. Let's stop chatting shit and uh, visit this place. First glance of Ventimiglia. Not too shabby. We got surfers over there. Having a crack at it. I'm literally loving the vibes. I'm on the boardwalk, along the sea, in Italy. Weather is really kind with us. So let's see what we can visit more. All right, so we left the seaside bit and now it's time to go and walk on the mountains. It's just now in this lovely little park and I'm gonna go towards the old town and visit that. It looks absolutely amazing. Look at this funny little statue of a horse. Good stance, mate. <laughs> On the way, we had this beautiful church. We're gonna walk in and have a look. Let's see what else we got here. Well, guys, Venti Media is a win in my books. The view is absolutely astonishing, and there's not too many people, so you can actually enjoy it properly. Yeah. So this pretty much sums up my holiday and my last day in <laughs> Italy. And I'll call it a nice holiday. Visited three countries in three days. Amazing, amazing weather, amazing places. Definitely recommend. Yeah, see you guys soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.